Hi everybody, hey, it's Lisa here from Lisa Pro's Creations, and um, I have a journal flip through for you that I've worked on this journal for a little while, and I'm ready to put it in my Etsy shop, and I just wanted to um, show you guys this journal that I did. The kit I used was from the Journal Boat. Um, it's the Yellows and Blues Botanical Journal Kit that I used, so if you guys would like to check that out, I'm going to um, list that in the description box below if you're interested in this kit because it makes a really beautiful journal so anyways I just want to show you what I did here I on the cover of this I put I used one of the pages from the kit and I just thought it was so pretty um, because of the blues and the yellows in it um, in fact I'm calling this this journal um, blue daisy junk journal it's a blue daisy junk journal um, so anyway I put this little journal Little, um, I sewed this onto some paper, um, and I put on on just some a, a bit of some doily that's under here, some lace, and I put some really cute little like flowery looking buttons on here, and then also some little buttons on the bottom here with some lace, and I just put some lace trim on the edge, and I tied it with a simple closure with some um, this really pretty lace, organza lace put that in the trims there and then here's the back and this is just some some really neat textured um, um, cardstock that I used for the the front of the back and the front of this and I just thought it would match the colors pretty well so I put that in there it has 60 pages it's a little tiny one actually it's not very big um, it measures let's see let's see it was five and three fourths by nine inches so it's like a junk it's like a traveler's journal kind of size and it's made from a file folder and it's like a soft cover or whatever and um, so anyways let's open it up and I'll show you what, what I end up doing so so on this on these on this closure I just I actually glued this between the two pages and I just left the loop on the end of it and it ties so anyway put this up here is the front cover. Here I put a little pocket here with the tag, and that's from the journal book kit. The blue, the yellow one, yellows and blues botanical kit. And then I put a, I put a clip here with a little um, one of the stamps that she has in their kit. And there's an envelope here that I put on the side, and it's got a couple of journaling cards in here for journaling. Um, let's see inside the envelope and I just clipped that oh there's a spot right here an opening here where you can put things in the side here and that's where I put this this little um, envelope so I got that on both ends I got this an opening on each end of this the front and the back so there's a doily some nice journaling pages here that. here is a one of those pages that has little sayings on it. I add that in there. And here's a little page. It just talks about your day, about filling out things about your day. And I got a couple pages here and a couple pages. It's like four pages of these. And here's that crinkly paper. Here's some my journal ledger. Here is some tea dye paper that I tore the edges on. Here is a Aesop fable. This is from taken from an old children's book or I mean a some type of reading book and I put some, a page of that in there and this is a belly band that I put a really pretty card that I decorative put a decorative top on it and there's the back of journal card and then this is a belly band here and then this is also a belly band here or I mean a let's put this in here if you'd like and uh, anyway, that goes here. And then I put a crocheted bit of a doily and a button on here. That would tie that in pretty well. On this page, um, I have one of these tags that it's a double, it's a dual tag. And um, I put I put some tool on the top here, and then I, I put in a bulb pin, and I added some more of that crocheted doilies doilies and a cute little button on there and that just fits in like this where this is kind of over the edge of the page and then this is a little I use this to make a little billy band a little spot for a little tag and I put that little tag right there 
and then this is just I think there's an opening here too if you wanted to put something in there but that's really tiny so okay so that and take the paper here's my echo eco 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 dyed paper obviously I want to say echo but it's eco dyed and uh, from, from some of the leaves in my yard and my on the trees and stuff at my house put those on there um, there's another picture here is a botanical pages I put in here um, this is a, when you open this up, it's got a little bitty secret tag. And I put this in my last journal, I thought it was a cute idea. A little secret tag that just fits in here. And on the outside of it, it just looks like there's just some ribbon, on, I mean, some lace on the edge of this card. So this opens up. And then this is some extra writing space for you. And, and then a spot in the back to put a tag. And I put another tag back there in the kit. And that just fits in the top, and this is fits over that way. And this opens up, and then I put a tuck, uh, a side tuck on here with another tag. Hold your paper. Lots of this is some more writing paper for you. That's part of the kit. I thought it was so pretty. I left it, so left it so you could do all your writing on there, journaling, whatever on this beautiful paper. Here's another one of those flip outs, and it's got another one of those little cards in the back. And this also is another place to do your journaling and another card there. Tag. And there's another exactly the same as the others, but different colors. That was kind of cute. Here's another botanical page. Just like that eco dyed paper. Here's a little um, tuck spot here on the side. With a couple of journaling cards inside of there. They're they're like postcard journaling cards. And this here is just I used to use some really textured paper here. I made a little bitty tag to fits in there. And a little bit of this little uh, label. Put a label there. And then these just fit in here. Or however you want to put them. I think I put them on this before I kind of tilted them like that so you can see it says postcards on them. So that's that. And then here's another page with a doily and it's got a couple cards in here for journaling. I just left them like that. It's like crumpled. It's almost like um Tracing paper. It feels like tracing paper. It's one of those pages here. Just poem page. There's another beautiful writing plate page. I'm going to take that real quick. Okay. And then this is a doily that goes here. And then here's the back page. And it's just a card, um, a journaling card, and a tag. That fits in this little opening here. And I put, I put um, one of the circles on the top of here and just uh, punched a hole through it through for the tag and put that on there. That is the last page and that's the back. It's got some beautiful lace on the side here. So, And then it just ties just really cute on the side. Um, it's a very simple, simple journal made from the journal book kit. Um, if you guys are interested in this, in this journal, it's, it's in my Etsy shop. I'm listing it in my Etsy shop. It's in there right now. Available right now if you're interested. I'm going to put the description in the... I'm going to, I'm going to write the my Etsy shop in the description below. So you can easily find it and click on it. And if you're interested, um, head on over there. And it's still available. Okay. Well, anyways, with that, I'm going to say bye for now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye.